How are we going everyone? Hope you're going to have a great day. It's a beautiful day to start with. Fresh, overcast, and rain coming as well. <laughs> now, I'm standing in front of my uh, citrus little uh, plantation here. Well, not a plantation, they're all in pots, in the grow pots. We haven't been out here for a while. I thought I'd come and visit them. This is the one that was going backwards because we had them in terracotta pots. Some of them were in plastic pots. Uh, and if you want to see what they were looking like back then when we first did it, go to our YouTube channel and you can see the designated playlist on citrus trees, all things citrus, and you'll be able to see me repeat potting, grafting, propagating, transplanting and things like that. Now I've come back to say hello to these trees and some of, well they're actually all doing pretty well and I haven't tested the soil or done anything since we last potted them up in these grow pots. This one was going backwards the most. Now I've used a potting mix, uh, compost as well, blood and bone, um, black grid uh, manure so not a lot of stuff um, well a blend of manure I think it's cow manure from memory I didn't use chicken and I brought my four in one uh, little moisture soil uh, I keep forgetting the name of this thing what's it called a soil survey instrument that's what it is now the, the beautiful thing about this is that it has four different types of uh, readings on it you've got moisture pH sun factor and heat so at the moment I've got it set on sun, heat and moisture. Let's have a look. The light factor definitely is going to be low because it is late in the day and it's obviously winter and the sun sits low in the sky. Temperature is pretty good considering 13 degrees and it's wet so I haven't watered these for about three months I reckon at least. Now you see we've got some flowers coming on, a little bit on the yellow side, not too much. We're going to check the pH on that to see what's going on but the tree is definitely not going backwards, it's actually settled down. It was a lot worse back uh, before we potted it up. So this actually needs a bit of a feed now. A liquid feed is a good way to do that. Let's check the pH to see if it's actually acidic or alkaline. Now I reckon it's going to be a little bit alkaline. It's sitting at 8.5 at the moment, that's pretty high. Let's just move it up and down because you can see and the thing about the probe, if you don't, haven't seen one of these before, that's the reader there, that's the little tip on it there where it takes all the readings. So if you start on the surface you'll see we're sitting, sitting at 7 which is you know, alkaline, but almost neutral. And as we get deeper, it's going to get more alkaline, more alkalinity. Just wait for it to read. Oh, we just hit a hot spot there. So we've got a bit of acidity there. Oh yeah, that's hot. Let's go a bit lower. So the pH is really acidic there. Wow. This, this thing actually does work. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> really? <laughs> Just walk up like that, hey? Do you like a studded <laughs> necklace? <laughs> Her collar. All right, we're sitting about 6.5 here. Like that's now bordering, now just going to the acidity level. So 6.5 to 7.5 is the neutral zone, and 99.9% .9 of your plants will love it, even citrus trees. Um, if you need to green them up because it's a cold season like that, obviously you need it to get to around 5, 5.5 on the reading. So like this tree here now needs a little bit of a feed. So to increase the acidity in the soil, you need things like blood and bone or palletized manure or cara to come up like that and sneak up onto me. Uh, or if you've, it's too acidic, put some black grit into it. Now, this tree we said is 6.5. Remember, the, the tree's roots are very shallow. As we sit in the shallow areas where the roots are, we're sitting at 7. So we'll bring it down a little bit lower. Still at 7. Just wait for it to read it. A little bit deeper. 7 still. 7.5, 7. Let me just push it all the way down. Just give it a second. Well, that's seven there. So you see how we can vary from little areas. So we're about, what, eight inches or 200 mil away. I'm going to take it out, put it back here again. This is where we were before. Just wait for it to take a reading. We're sitting at nine now. Eight. It should drop. Let's hope it drops. Let's go back up. 7.5, seven, yep. So you can see that the different layers in the soil will have a different pH reading. And that's a great topic actually, folks. We should talk about how the soil can vary from one square foot to another when you're feeding a plant and you only feed it in one area. Obviously that area is going to have a change in pH, whether it's going to go more acidic or alkaline. And that's why it's important when you feed plants. Now in pots, feed the entire area, the whole surface area of your pot. In the ground, try and feed at least the drip line, not just around the tree base. Feed all the outside of the drip line. So if it's two meters in diameter, that's what you need to feed as well. It's no good just feeding a clo close around the trunk. I've seen 
it too many times where we go to feed plants and people go, okay, I've got some dynamic lifter or something like that, and they just throw a couple of handfuls around the trunk of the tree, right up next to it. Whereas the roots are out here somewhere, they need to be fed as well. That's important. It's not just for trees, it's for all types of plants. They don't just have a little root ball like that, unless they're in the pot, you know, that's okay, you feed the entire pot. If they're in the ground, feed the entire area, that's important. Now that's this tree here, have a look at this mandarin here. This is a lot better. It's a lot darker still. It's cold weather, folks, so don't expect to see too much. Just quickly pop that in, see the soil temperature. We're sitting at about 11. It is wet. Sun factor is low, we know that. And let's have a look at the pH on this one. They should be pretty much the same. That's sitting at 9. Give it a chance to read it. Yep, it's going down. So over time, and the reading takes a while. Oh, look at this behind here as well. This is another thing we've got to be careful of. While it's going down in pH, so it's neutral. Time to feed these trees, as we said already in previous episodes that we've done. And remember to take off all these little bands too. So that's what it came with, and you can see it was really tight on it. If you forget to take them off, the tree will actually grow around it and ring bark itself. It'll choke itself. So take off those. Let's take it back out now. And go over here. Just wait on the surface. 8.5, 8.7.5, so yep, neutral, so we're in a neutral area. As I said before, neutral, the neutral zone on the pH scale is pretty good for 99.9% .9 of your plants. They'll survive in it, they're not going to die, they're not going to do the best, the trees are doing well, they can be better, so they need a fertilise. Eco Butch, Liquid Gold and Blood and Bone is what I'm going to put. Aged Manure, that's not going to increase the acidity level. So I want to bring it up. I'm not going to put any black grit to this because they don't need it. If you check your soil and you see that it's sitting around 5, 5.5, 4, 4.5 on the scale, that's when you need to use your black grit and that's when it works its best. That's when it gets the calcium, the phosphate into the soil and helps the plants be able to draw up all the other nutrients which become unavailable. These trees are getting everything they need. They just need a top up now so they can green up a little bit more and that's all they need to do. Now the four in one soil, I can't remember the name, soil survey instrument folks is available. We've got only 180 units. I was expecting 300 units. Unfortunately, that's all that's available. So first in, best dress, get them online, vasilisgarden.com. And if you're watching this just as it's been played and uploaded and you can watch it all, uh, tune into 3AW. That's because we're on radio now, Gardening Weekend, me and Darren James. Give us a call with your gardening problems or ideas and check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. We've got some big specials running on this weekend only. That's vasilisgarden.com. Welcome from me, Vasily, Maresi.